So I'm going to talk about the Power Platform Communication Site template. It's um, a new template that we created to help all the customers of the Power Platform. My name is Daniel Laskwitz. I am a senior cloud advocate at Microsoft and I focus on the Power Platform. Let's move on and talk a little bit about a center of excellence strategy. The center of excellence uh, that, uh, uh, that the center of excellence starter kit that uh, has been uh, uh, created by Microsoft by the PowerCat team. Uh, that's only one part of the strategy. Um, there is a lot more in there. Uh, so Manuela Pichler of the PowerCat team, she also helped us develop the uh, Power Platform Communication Site template, uh, but she also does all the work on the uh, Center of Excellence Starter Kit. Uh, and she also um, has a lot of a uh, lot of guidance on adoption, etc. And one of the uh, things that she also created is the Center of Excellence Strategy. Um, there are a couple of pillars. Secure, monitor, app modernization and nurture. Uh, and the uh, uh, Power Platform Communication Site template is part of the nurture part. Uh, but there are also really other uh, really interesting uh, things in here. Uh, for instance, secure, that's when you set up your data loss prevention policies to make sure that uh, there's no data leakage or uh, something like that. Uh, monitor is really interesting to see uh, who is actually creating flows and apps, et cetera, inside of your uh, Power Platform environments and who is actually using it. Uh, so that's really, uh, really interesting to see as well. And app modernization is, of course, about uh, making sure to uh, modernize paper form processes or third party systems, legacy systems that you can modernize. Uh, there's tons of uh, uh, tons of options there. Uh, the nurture part is all about um, developing training and templates, making sure that you uh, show uh, best practices. Uh, also, to um, uh, to really highlight the champions in your company that are creating really cool apps and flows around your company. And of course, uh, making sure that the community within your uh, within your company grows more and more. And it's all about encouraging ongoing engagement. Uh, and how can you do that? You can do that, for instance, by creating a Yammer or Teams group to make sure that people can talk about best practices and new features. Uh, you can share success stories about departments that are working a lot with Power Apps and Power Automate and the, one of the other tools. And you can show uh, all those uh, success stories about how they have created uh, really cool automations, for instance, to save a lot of work. Um, there's also uh, the possibility of hosting events, uh, so uh, you can uh, have lunch and learn sessions, for instance, to uh, help people understand the Power Platform better. And of course, you can set uh, challenges and run competition as well. One of the best practices that we always uh, uh, put out there was uh, to create a central place where, pe where people can find um, everything about the power platform within the organization. So um, it really makes sense to have a SharePoint site where people can find everything about the strategy of the power platform within your company to find all the training and the resources uh, for your company. Also to find the data policies and environment strategy in your company. And there are lots of other uh, resources that you can see there as well. Before, we always talked about uh, that everybody could create a central place. And we've seen that a lot of co uh, companies actually created that as well, uh, but also a lot of companies haven't yet. Um, and that's why we created a template. And that template was there to give you a head start. So there's tons of companies around the world that use the Power Platform, and uh, we really wanted them to um, uh, to also have an easy start here um, to make sure that they can deploy the site uh, without having to do all the work uh, because there's lots of work uh, in that uh, site template, for instance, that's kind of generic. Uh, there's also a lot of company specific uh, stuff in there, uh, but we are providing the generic stuff and we create placeholders inside of that template uh, where you can fill in the details that are for your company. Uh, there are a couple of links here. 
uh, a Microsoft Learning, uh, and that's the most important one uh, because that's the uh, documentation page where you can find everything about the uh, communication side template. Uh, we also have an issue link. Whenever you encounter an issue, please file them. Uh, we'll make sure that we'll uh, solve those issues as well. And of course, a download link to um, yeah to directly download the zip file that you can extract. And then uh, you can uh, uh, extract that and uh, have all the files there to deploy the communication site template. Well, enough talk about it. Let's um, move to a demo. And let's go to the browser. So here I have uh, uh, a SharePoint site. Uh, I already deployed the, um, uh, the communication site template uh, to my own environment. Uh, to my own tenant, uh, and this is the home page where you will land whenever you uh, have created uh, this uh, uh, this template. It has a, a web part at the top where you can uh, uh, have news, for instance. Uh, there's one news article there where you can already um, uh, replace some stuff in there uh, to, um, uh, to talk a little bit about the strategy uh, of your company and uh, the stakeholders, etc. Below that, there's a welcome. Um, a little bit lower, you can find the success stories and the champions of the week. Um, we already created some templates in here uh, or some uh, demo content uh, because we didn't want to have an empty site where you had to do everything yourself. So these are just um, yeah, fake stories <laughs> and uh, uh, champions of the week. Um, but it gives you an idea on uh, how you can uh, uh, how you can fill those. At the bottom, we also have some events here. Uh, so whenever you have a showcase or a company hackathon, you can you can add those here and see those there. Um, there's also the possibility, of course, to have a Yammer community where you can talk about those be best practices and new um, uh, the new uh, releases that come out, for instance, uh, and uh, and so on. At the top, you can see the navigation. Um, we have a getting started, help and learning, power platform at low code. And that's a little bit of a weird link because uh, I used low code as my company name in this case. Um, whenever you deploy the site, you have to fill in a company name and it will just replace all the uh, company references uh, with uh, the name that you choose. So it will get uh, configured a little bit better then. Um, we have news and success stories, of course, and events. Um, so let's start with help and learning. Uh, when you go to guided learning, um, you can find a page here where you have a lot of content in here for beginners, intermediates, for advanced, and it links to uh, all the different uh, learn uh, modules that are around uh, the Power Platform on uh, Microsoft Learn. Um, you can also see that there are some uh, things that need to be filled in. Um, and that's, for instance, the link here. Um, we just created a placeholder, which you can uh, edit and then uh, change it around. Um, and that uh, um, is all highlighted in the docs. So um, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, there are tons of other things here as well. For instance, consultation. Uh, whenever uh, you have, for instance, a central department, IT department or center of excellence that will uh, build uh, power apps and uh, uh, cloud flows or desktop flows uh, on demand, for instance, um, that's where this page would uh, really help a lot. Uh, you can have like your uh, center of excellence uh, team in here to, um, uh, yeah, to provide some details about that as well. Uh, there are also some other things like internal communities, which also um, links again to the Yammer community, for instance. Um, and there's also a little bit about support, which you can fill in. So whenever they need support, uh, they can uh, go to the right places. Uh, if we go to the Power Platform at low code part, there's all the details about your Power Platform implementation. And that's all about environments, for instance. Uh, so. Um, there are tons of best practices in here already. Um, and uh, that's what we filled in already as the sample content. Uh, but there are also some things that you need to fill in. So um, there's a link here, for instance. This is about uh, company specific instructions on requesting a new environment. So whenever a, a user at your company wants to request their own Power Platform environment, um, 
a lot of companies already have um, uh, some kind of uh, request uh, um, uh, process already in there. Uh, and that's what uh, you can fill in here, for instance. Um, and there are some uh, links also to the docs, for instance. So if you uh, want to learn more about it, you can uh, you can go there as well. Um, there's also parts about data loss prevention, for instance, requesting licenses, which are also processes that uh, a lot of our customers have. And of course, we have the news and success stories where you can just go to a page where you have all the success stories listed here. Uh, in this case, it's just one uh, example um, um, uh, success story, but whenever you have more, then uh, it will fill up uh, really nicely. And the same goes for champion of the week. Uh, the champions of the week are also listed here. Um, also, we have uh, the events part where you can have hackathons, for instance. Uh, that's a separate page that we have here. You can add all your different hackathons in here. Uh, and you can uh, have also one page for the office hours. Uh, again, it uh, replaces low code, uh, which is the company name. So it will uh, give your company name uh, in here. Uh, and here you can watch all the uh, latest offer, office hours recording, upcoming office hours, events, you can see those, etc. So there's tons of uh, stuff in here. Let's move on to the docs here. Um, so when you go to that link that I already shared, um, um, it's the create an internal uh, Microsoft Power Platform Hub. And um, if you scroll down a little bit, there is a part about getting started with the uh, Microsoft Power Platform communication site template. And here you get all the details about uh, where you can download the assets. So those are the download, uh, download links. Um, and it will download a zip file. Uh, and the zip file, uh, when you extract it, you will get uh, a couple of PowerShell scripts and a template.pmp file. And that will give you all the resources that you need to deploy the, um, the communication site template. Um, it will give you all kinds of details about the updating of the variables that you need to do uh, to, for instance, update your uh, company name or your uh, locale or something like that. Uh, there's a bunch of details in here. Um, there's also one really interesting part here. Uh, and that's the uh, Set Power Platform Hub as uh, DLP error settings. And that's a script that we also provide uh, to make sure that whenever a user is uh, using uh, Power Apps or Power Automate, for instance, and they uh, create a cloud flow where they um, uh, create um, uh, or they add different actions from uh, multiple connectors and they are not compliant with the DLP settings. Uh, then you always get an, a, a pretty weird error message. Um, and this script makes it possible to point to the uh, Power Platform communication site template. And um, it will give you, uh, a user immediately the link to the, to the right place uh, on your website. Um, and you can also add a support email if you want to. Um, that links to your support team, for instance. So that's also a really nice one to uh, uh, to see as well. Um, there are some um, uh, also troubleshooting uh, 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 sections here. Uh, so whenever you uh, encounter some issues, uh, there are some uh, some uh, tips and tricks there as well. And uh, at the bottom, and that's not last <laughs> last but not least, um, you have the configuration. And configuration is really important because when you deploy the template. Um, you will need to configure the pages where I already talked about, where you need to replace the, the placeholders. And that's what um, uh, is explained here. So uh, this uh, shows everything about the pages that you need to edit before you can, um, uh, before you can uh, uh, publish the whole website to all your end users. And um, yeah, that's uh, uh, the docs page. Let me move back to the presentation for the last part. Um, so yeah, the links. Uh, make sure that you um, uh, that you go to those uh, uh, those uh, links to, um, for instance, uh, review the docs, uh, add the issue, or download the uh, Power Platform communication site template. And with that, um, I'm handing it back over to David.
Awesome. Thank you, Daniel. This is really, really fantastic uh, stuff to show how we can increase adoption, awareness, uh, education within organizations for the Power Platform. So thank you and the team for, for putting this together. Really, really awesome stuff. There's a couple questions in the chat, so I'll let you uh, take a look at I'll those. I'll answer them. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Thank you.